Good morning, good morning, everyone. <coughs> Excuse me, it's your man, the morning star. Just jumping back on here. Um, I was talking with a co-worker yesterday. And um, he was telling me about his experience that he had uh, Wednesday night when he was getting off of work. And just a little background information. Uh, this, this young man or this, this gentleman, he's uh, a Hispanic. You know, he's from Mexico. So just a little background information. So you'll see where, I'm, where, 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 we, where we're headed and where we're going to end up with this one. So, you know, not too long ago or recently, down at the University of Georgia, uh, a student was killed, you know, sadly. Um, and she was killed by a Hispanic male who apparently was over here uh, illegally. You see what I'm saying? In which now it's a very very sad situation you know but at the same time illegals have been doing this for ages but now all of a sudden i guess that was the the straw uh that broke the camel's back you know like they say in which i get it you know stuff does boil over so i ain't gonna go too in depth with that but Back to this young man, he was, uh, like I said, had, had gotten off of work or whatever have you, and he said he was at the uh, quick trip, you know, getting some gas for his car, and he noticed a police car, you know, nothing too too serious, you know, so he said he left, and as he was leaving, the police got behind and pulled him over, the, the, the officer approached him, asked him had he been drinking, the gentleman responded, no. Then the police asked, uh, asked him for his driver's license. Or does he have a driver's license? He told him yes. He asked him to see it. He gave it to him. Police looked at the driver's license right there in front of him. Didn't go to his car. Didn't run anything. Didn't run any tags or anything. Looked at his license. Gave it back to him. Told him to have a nice day. Now granted, the police officer saw him putting fuel in his car. And pulled him over and asked him had he been drinking. Hmm. So he said later on down the road. And not later later on. But just down the road. He runs into a roadblock. Pulls up to the roadblock. They ask him the same question. Had he been drinking? Does he have a driver's license? Let him see it. Alright. Well good. Have a nice day. And so I'm only saying this because. The area that he lives in is, you know, catered to his background, meaning he stays in a more Hispanic, where more Hispanics live. And we all know about this bill and stuff, a law that they're trying to pass, a mayor passed about uh, off police's be, being able to um, stop any Hispanic person that they think is suspicious but it just takes me back, man, to the stuff that, and even though I didn't go through it completely, but the stuff that black people had to go through to get to where we are, now the Hispanics are feeling it. You get what I'm saying? To the point where, you know, even Hispanics uh, say, well, we had African slaves. You know, everybody across the globe had African slaves, apparently. But my point being is now the Hispanics are feeling how it feels to go through persecution and 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 and, and um, not being wanted, so to speak, you get what I'm saying. I'm not saying it's a good thing, and I don't want nobody to have to go through it. But that's what they're having to go through now, and so it's just an excuse to to um, single out these people, you know, and yeah. It's a lot of them that, a lot of Hispanic people that are over here illegally. Yeah, I get it. You know, it's probably a lot of Americans that's over in other countries illegally, you know. And you, we can't really compare apples to oranges, you know, as they say. 
because you don't have a lot of Americans trying to escape this country to go to Mexico per se because Mexico is a better way of life because it isn't that's why the Hispanics are trying to come here um as well as you know for a while and it may still somewhat be that was uh, what you would like to call a a, a a mass exodus though of Americans into Canada how they cross or what they had to go through I don't know you know and which I get it. You don't want an influx of people that you cannot keep a tally on because if you just let doors swing wide open and any and everybody come in, that most definitely can and will pose a problem down the line. So I get it. I really do. You know, it, it is a lot to be done uh, down at the border. You know, and I, and I hate what the Hispanics are having to go through. I hate what a lot of these foreigners or, you know, whatever they call them, foreigners, I guess. I hate what they have to go through in their own country. I get it. You know, they want a, they want a better way of life. We all do. You know, they have to understand, too, that we have to have some protocol over here to be able to figure out who we should or should not maybe allow over here there has to be a process you just can't let everybody over here because we got our own share of problems with the people that were born at Grady or the people that were born at Georgia Baptist which is no longer here or the people that was born at Crawford Loan DeKalb Medical you get what I'm trying to say the people that are from here we got our own issues that we have to deal with you know coming up to have to worry about dealing with somebody that ain't even from here and their issues and what they may be bringing with them, you know, but I'm not saying that these people shouldn't be allowed over here now because that's not right. You know, we all deserve a right to life, a right to live. You see what I'm saying? Um, but it just needs to be a, a, a better way of going about it. You know, and that that's going to take a lot of people sitting down, actually talking, not fussing and cussing and, you know, but one uh, uh, um, political class is better than the other. We, we got to get rid of all that nonsense. And we need to focus on being a people. But, yeah, um, but like I said, man, I want to jump on here and, and talk about that because that young man got poor. Yeah, you know, that young man got pulled over twice. Hispanic young man twice in one night. So I'm just saying this, you know, to all the Hispanics out there. You know, y'all got to be on alert, man. These people ain't playing. They cracking down, you know. Um, we already understand how Trump feels about immigrants and things like that. And a lot of other people as well. It's not just Trump. You know, a lot of people feel a certain way about people just coming over here without any record. You see what I'm saying? And me personally, I could care less, but I care because we can't just have millions of people flooding this country where we are already struggling in order to get by day to day as well. Because it's not an unlimited supply, no matter how we want to look at it, no matter how we want to cut it. We don't have unlimited supply to things here in the United States of America. Yeah, we may have a better living than down there in Mexico to a certain extent, you know, but man, yeah, it's just tough times, y'all, and I hope it get better, but y'all stay cool, and it's your man, the morning star, don't hesitate, go check out my YouTube, VZ's World, that's capital V-E-A-S-E-Y, apostrophe S, space, W O R L D. You know that's on YouTube. And I'll be back on here with another one. I'm out.